Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. In Dorico, often you don't need to worry too much about creating ties between notes. As you input your music, notes are created using the durations you specify, and Dorico uses its knowledge of notation options, looking at the rhythmic position of notes within the bar and other notes around it, in order to determine whether a note should be rendered using a tie chain. Occasionally, you might find you do need to create a tied note yourself. Perhaps when inputting a duration that cannot be expressed purely with one note, such as this quarter note tied to a sixteenth note. In this instance, input the note for the first part of the tie chain, and then before inputting the second note, engage the tie button, or use the key command T. You can use the button or key command to tie together existing notes of the same pitch. Note that if Dorico's options dictate that the newly tied note can be better expressed using specific note values, it should convert it automatically. To this end, the tie tool can be thought of as having similarities to a glue tool you might find in other software, as you are essentially gluing notes together. You can select multiple notes of the same pitch and tie them all together to create one longer note and you can make a wider selection, and when you invoke the tie command, Dorico will know which notes it can tie together. Now, when you click or move to a note in the tie chain, all the notes in the chain are selected, and this is because it is effectively just one duration, but the circumstances dictate it should be written as a tied note. This is pretty useful, as it makes it easier to work with, edit and move tied notes, and notations such as articulations and playing techniques know where to be positioned along the tie chain. You can move the carrot to any point along a tie chain in order to input items such as dynamics at specific rhythmic positions. And for more advanced editing, you can select individual notes in a tie chain in engrave mode, perhaps if you need to flip the stem of a specific note. Notes do not need to be adjacent in order to tie them together, they just need to be the same pitch. In fact, notes don't even need to be in the same voice or staff. In this example, I want to tie the bottom note of this chord in the upstem voice to this following note in the downstem voice. It's as easy as selecting both notes and invoking the tie command. Sometimes you may need a tie that does not attach to another note. This sort of tie, which is known as a laissez vibre tie, or let ring, is used to denote notes that are allowed to ring out or sustain without a specific duration, and are created using a property. Select the relevant note or notes, then open the properties panel in the lower zone and enable the laissez vibre property. You can adjust the lengths of laissez vibre ties in engrave mode. You can remove a tie by selecting it and pressing the scissors button, or by using the key command U. This cut tool is a feature in its own right, and I'll be dedicating an entire video to it. And if you have the need for a specific configuration of note values within a tie chain that cannot be achieved by setting the relevant notation options, you can use force duration to tell Dorico to retain the specific note values you input. Again, force duration will be covered more fully in another video. I'm Anthony Hughes, thanks for watching.